it was really, really scary. Like because he just would just lose it. And I can understand when you when you've been a top player like Roy Keane was, one of the very best. In his head, he can't he can't understand why us players at Aston Villa make mis- like certain mistakes. He, he just doesn't compute with him. Like, how can you not pass from there to there? Like, he, he just can't see it. But I remember this one particular game we played against QPR. We lost two one um, down there, and um, he had us in the change room. Paul Lambert kind of just stepped to the side, and Roy started talking. And honestly, I, it was a night game. I promise you, all the lights in the building, the, the everywhere, the, all the families that we used to wait outside had gone because he was in the changing for two hours, and he just went off for about two hours. But he went from talking about um, the Lucas drinks that people drink. Players getting too many massages. Um, people doing yoga. Um, ha- like someone, I think Ron Vlar had like a knee or an ankle injury or oh, shin splints or something. And he was like, how could, how can a player be out for that long with shin splints? Like it, it makes honestly. And he just went going around the room picking faults, and no one really wanted to catch eye contact with him because the moment you made eye contact with him, he was going for you as well. So he was like, oh, and you, and everyone just sat there.